Hello YouTube, this is that BMX guy. So in this box for today, I'm gonna show you my Sturmy Archer parts accumulation. Um, some guy and well, he's on eBay, so he gave me all these parts. Um, whoever John guy is, uh, John something. He was in Illinois. I'd like to thank him for all these parts. Um, I got them for a pretty decent price. He gave me a, a couple of these breakdown sheets. This is the normal AW sheet. Um, this one's for the S3C. Now, there's not that many parts of the S3C in this parts box, but a lot of them are shared with a different hub, which would be this next one. This next one is the TCW Mark III, and that's actually dated 1972 on the S3C, so I guess that's when that came out. But the TCW just has a little bit different parts, and most of these parts are shared with the AW, like the driver and the clutch, and the ball ring, and the gears themselves. But everything else is basically just a coaster brake design, the same as the S3C. The S3C had this different clutch. I think there's one in, in these boxes. This is like all the box right here is this AW. But in another parts box, I have all the coaster brake parts. Um, yeah, so this one is just the AW. And the thank you note for taking it. So I'll just take a look inside this box. So first off, I'll just take out the, the AW that is complete. This AW I had in the other video. Um, it was actually in a shell before. So this is a complete AW that I got before this bundle of parts. Um, but this is a 56, I believe. Um, this is the same as the shell that I'm using the AM in. So that's what this was. This, this one was the one that was actually in the video that I made of tearing down AW and looking inside of it. So that one just sits right there. So. Give me a bag full of indicator chains of all different shapes and sizes. It seems like they're all, there's many that are long and many that are short. There's even ones with springs and other things, but they're all different lengths. I guess they have a mark on it, and I guess they call them, say if it has two marks, like this one, it's a mark two. It's pretty easy to remember. But usually the AW is the shortest one, which is like one of these ones. But that's the indicator chain cluster. These are some springs. There's only two clutch springs. Um, in this bundle, there's a bunch of paws. A whole lot of paws. And they're all brand new. It's actually seemingly a clutch or two in there mixed in with them but yeah, they're all the Pauls I have two of these are actually or that is a low gear ring this is another low gear ring this was actually on the AM that was the aluminum one this is the one that I found on a different AW shell, but it doesn't want to thread into, say, the other AW or the AM. I don't know why the threads seem different. And this is actually a drive side high gear ring. That usually we call it the ball ring. It doesn't have its cover on it to hold the balls in place, but that's in here. These are actually the clutch indicator chain key holders or thrust bearing thrust washers whatever 
These are just the simple ones. Um, yeah, thrust ring. Oh, just the thrust ring. That's all it's called. That's right there. These are obviously plants right here. A whole many plants right here. And they all seem to be unused and brand new. Uh, these are just cone lock nuts of all different colors. Um, these are the older style, they're just 15 millimeter. So these are the. Okay, so there's other paws that are so many of They're low gear paws. And these are actually the high gear paws. Where they go into the, um, the ring gear. They have the tail on them. The tail is lifted up when the clutch pushes them up to make the gear work. So these are the other poles. These are, um, what does it say? Clutch sleeves. So that, that thrust washer goes against this clutch sleeve when the clutch key goes inside of it. That's right there. These are just washers that seem to be thrust washers, but you can use them for other things. They still work as like an axle nut washer. Um, this actually right here is a bag clutch rebuild kit that I was trying to sell on eBay. You know, it would come with the clutch. It's a brand new clutch. Uh, thrust ring thrust washer and clutch whatever the other thing said sleeve and a clutch key all came for like 20 bucks but there was no one biting on it no one wanting to buy them so just in here I don't know I don't know them. these are um, sprocket spacers you can also use these as um, bond bracket spacers for a European style bond bracket or even like, you know, a cog spacer for other things. These are axles. Um, they do seem to be different lengths. Some of them are shorter than the other. For example, this one with the, the screw hole in one. That looks like it's a screw and not a rivet, but that one seems to be the shorter of the many. Um, this one has actually the rivet. But yeah, these are the normal style AW, and if that little key, this one has a key, that's for like the coaster brake style hub. I thought there was a key here too, but I don't know. Yeah, so we got axles. This is the bag of clutches. There's seemingly two different styles of clutches. This is the style I like, the step clutch. But there's like a more like an offset angled clutch that's in here and there's many of them um, they're just, they're both work the same they don't make that much of a difference they're just clutches these are the this is the bag it's supposed to have all the clutch keys so wherever I saw those clutch keys in that bag of gears I guess that's these they should be in this this is the bag of I'm going to say the low gear paw pins. They might be high gear paw pins too. I'm not really sure they're both exactly the same. That's what these are. They're different colors. Like some reason you see there's silver and there's a couple of black ones. Which I guess there's black ones that look like they're used. And this is just another one of those clutch rebuild kit bags. This one, these are serrated axle lock washers to hold the dropout straight. So you put this around your axle and it kind of keeps the axle from spinning in the dropout. So there's a couple different styles in this bag. Uh, there's even like one of the cone lock washers 
splash washers. Yeah, they're kind of mixed. Um, so these are pins. These are the planetary gear pins, and all the AW ones are stepped like this. Looking here, they kind of all look the same. So I got lots of planetary pinning pinion pins. This bag is just a bunch of basically indicator chain axle nuts. I think they're all indicator chain axle nuts. There are ones that are like kind of multi-piece, like that guy on the end just goes on a nut. But it just makes it so the indicator chain has a hole to look through so you can adjust it. Um, this actually has paw springs in it. I don't know if I'll be able to do this with one hand. And yeah, I don't really want to do it with one hand, but you, you get the idea. There's a whole bunch of paw springs in this guy. <clears throat> in this bag, we have it looks like three planetary cages. There's the planetary cage that has a little groove right here, and maybe it's just milled out there for weight. I think there's one that's solid. Yeah, this one's the solid one. For some reason, this one isn't milled out right here. It's just because they got cheaper with it or something. I don't know. But there are. There's just three of these guys. There is the possibility I can just assemble one more. Oh, there's even a Paul still on that guy. That might actually make it a little easier. So in this other box, we have dust caps and this thing is that can actually be opened with one hand. Dust caps being like these go on the ball ring side and cover the ball ring. There's different styles in there. Like shiny lipped one that goes in one of those lipped end shells and got these are bearing cone dust shields that go into the driver or the low gear ring. These are actually cone cones, yeah, axle cones for the bearings on the axle. And here are the, the fulcrum clips and pulleys that hook to your frame and line up the cables. There's a bunch of them in there and then there's this one more looks like a, a bearing shield again. So, Pretty much the whole collection of parts that are just AW. I do have one of these, and this needs to be the right style, I hope. This is a you know gearing. Hopefully, this is the right one. No, this going to be longer. There's actually Paul's already on it. But yeah, that's all my AW parts galore. So, I think the idea was the video to do a build of an AW, but I don't really know if I want that, so maybe the next video I'll do that. Because I need like, to sort it out and understand what I'm doing. But that's my collection of AW parts. Uh, this isn't the only parts. Like I said, there's another box filled with TCW and S3C parts. I still also have a whole S3C that I never got to use for anything. Um, eventually, I like to get rid of this stuff. So if anyone wants to message me and say, oh, I need this and that, I might have it. It might be easier just to get it. From me versus like an online store because the online stores might give you something newer these are definitely from around the 70s and earlier so 
Yeah, this is that BMX guy, and thanks for watching.